Okay. What are you doing, Jamie? We just got a fifth wheel in that's a donated fifth wheel. It's a it's a junk vehicle, but it's it doesn't have any mold in it. And I looked underneath and underneath has no rust whatsoever. So the whole idea is there's a lady with two kids that's had to cold mingle with people and it's making her uncomfortable, you know. She's just uncomfortable. So we parked her near us, me and Aaron, and I'm taking these reflectics. There was no uh, air conditioner where the air conditioner was. That's a 14 by 14 hole. And I'm using butyl tape. Butyl tape, which is rated for RVs, and these little screws. And I'm just taking the reflectics and going around it with butyl tape. It'll hold, it'll hold for probably a couple of months of rain. And then there's a furnace I gotta do it for, there's the bathroom one I gotta do it for. And then we'll just check in with her when it rains to make sure that uh, we did a good job. I can always come back. I've got Dicor 2 left over from the van build, so we can make it sound. And it's probably just going to be where they live here. And then maybe it can be transported to someplace else for, you know, like six months or something. Uh, however it's got to be. But we need to get her a cooktop because nothing inside of it works. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do this, and then i got to hop on the motorcycle and go pick up a package in Chico. So one more person got moved from a tent to something more substantial, so, so that's a good thing. What's the weather been like? It's been, like right now you see me with a short sleeve shirt on and the sun's out and it's clear, but basically every day it's been raining. And it doesn't just sprinkle for a minute, it, it's substantial. So if you're in a tent or you're in something that leaks, you're taking that moisture on. That's why there's so many tarps and stuff going on around here. It would be a lot better if this would have happened like in June, but we didn't get to pick it. And what do people need? What are some other needs? Well, I just got with Vivian that works with the Red Cross, and she said a lot of people need, like, duffel bags and backpacks. And then I've got on my wish list um, butane stoves. We're going to need a lot of butane stoves. We're going to turn those cars that people are paying for the GoFundMe into, like, soccer mom vans. Like, I really like Dodge Grand Caravans. They're uh, good mileage. They handle very well. It doesn't take any special skill to drive them. And we can take the back seats out and put a bed in and a little butane stove, set up a little uh, cooktop and things. So if people are in there for a little while, they don't have to be in a tent or sleeping in a car while they're figuring out the next step and getting a job and stuff. So basically that. And then I've also got some stuff on the wish list, odd things. There was a girl out here on bare feet on the concrete this morning. And so they got her slippers, but I put shoes on there for her. So it's just one pair of size seven toddler shoes. It's just like we see things as they come in and put them on the wish list. Great.